Hello. So um, listen, everybody on YouTube, I am so sorry. I have a, a little admission to make. I'm over here uh, live on Twitch, kind of like catching up my VODs for all of you wonderful people that um, uh, continue to brave the storm and try to catch up on these campaigns on YouTube. Uh, when I came to the realization that um, uh, this session uh, that uh, took place here, I believe this was session da, 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 uh, four. Uh, and unfortunately, I started having tech issues with uh, with slobs. And then um, I didn't, I guess I didn't finish fixing them or I didn't realize that there was a mistake or whatever it was before session five, because I just now realized that um, I didn't record session five. I don't have the VOD for it. So because you unfortunately will not be able to watch session five before it goes on to um, the, the next session, and if you can see up here with your keen little eye that that's the session five, that's just because it's incorrectly labeled. Um, anyways, I'm gonna have correct the labeling in a moment. So uh, after the, the party uh, was able to retreat, uh, they fought with the Paradell military, with the, the caster that was there, throwing the spells at them. Um, uh, Tyler had killed the one guard and went into the ethereal plane for a moment, threw it with Blink or whatever it was, and saw like the guy standing there over, uh, uh, like, like, am I dead? What happened? After that whole scene, they run away and they uh, eventually uh, find their way into a patch of woods on the border between Adir and Paradell. And they, they get some sleep inside there. Cool. You probably already saw that in the session. There's some medicine checks, whatever it is. That night, while they're sleeping there, they notice a, a loud rumbling noise. I think it's Rena that picks up the <sighs> of like a, of a wyvern that's in the area sleeping, and they're like, "Oh no, there's a wyvern here!" And they're like, "All right, let's handle this problem." Um, uh, Tyler actually comes up with some pretty brilliant tactics, if I remember correctly. It was Tyler where um, he like turtles up with the shields, knowing that if it attacks him, the shield will attack it back, and that will really help him out. Um, and they they they, they get they, they kind of like spread out in kind of a, a fun way. They do a really good job of tactics. Anyways, what Tyler actually eventually does is he uh, after beating the thing up a little bit, but it's still fighting its wyvern. Uh, he hits it with a mind spike, uh, one of his spells, and the mind spike makes it so the wyvern, which only has one one mode. Wyverns only have one mode, which is attack. The wyvern is attacking, 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 but unfortunately, it something happens where it can't attack anymore. And after it's like I, I, I can't attack. I, my my only thing isn't thinking. Um, it chooses to turn and leave because it's either it's either do nothing and die or do the only thing you can do. There there is no there's no other options in that uh, moment. So it actually turns and it leaves the um. Uh, the forested area or the wooded area where they happen to be spending the night. They then get up the next day. They continue traveling uh, to Sun's Rest. If I remember correctly, there's another sighting of uh, gibbling mouthers, but they make appropriate checks. I think Rena makes some really good survival checks and they're able to avoid the mouthers as being a concern, uh, so on and, and so forth. Uh, they eventually are able to go um, into uh, Sun's Rest itself and they're able to uh, meet with Isaac Trode, who, uh, if you don't know from either previous sessions from this campaign or the other campaigns, especially Kingmaker, he is uh, the one who's kind of like building Sun's Rest right now. Um, he's the leader or the foundry that's there, et cetera, et cetera. Rena drops off her armor and some of their weapons or whatever to have the weapons polished and sharpened and brought to like a good edge and Rena's armor to be polished and cleaned and, and whatnot because they have better equipment, tools, and experience than she does even though her character is a um, a smith. She actually trusts most of the leadership of uh, Valorant, the nation that Sun's Rest happens to be a part of. Um, while inside there, dealing with Isaac, seeing if other stuff can be done, blah, 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 blah. I think they end up buying um, something from him as well. Um, I think they sell one or two things to him. Again, not a big deal. Nothing nothing overarching. But then they eventually meet up with Aslan and, um, and uh, Jocelyn. Uh, Aslan is, as you know, from Ophios's story and was also a part of the Kingmaker series. Uh, I still owe Anno that character as a character sheet. Um, and... They the um, Jocelyn is a part of the Kingmaker uh, series or, or Valorant leadership. Um, she is, I think, the warden now for them. I could be mistaken. Either way, uh, the next session literally starts up with them meeting with Jocelyn and trying to decide if, or Jocelyn, sorry, it's not Jocelyn, it's Jocelyn. Them meeting with Jocelyn and them wanting um, her to uh, convince her uh, to have more or less full authority, full autonomy, and even some aid in going back down into the tunnels beneath 
um, Sun's Rest, the tunnels where they fought that undead creature before, the various undead creatures where they saw the the big um, uh, glass jars, where they saw the um, the experiments that were being done by the mall, or was it the lopers, or... <gasps> Either you'll remember or you'll find out in the next session. Uh, either way, so that's kind of like a, a quick little catch up as to what you guys missed. I'm so sorry that there was a tech issue, um, but I wanted to at least put something up here so you know a quick summary of what it is that you missed. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. Just double checking chat right now to see if I missed anything. Uh, Scott would call this his future radio boomer box. Th th thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, Ano. I appreciate you. Um, you still uh, owe us the Jake and Visual Lady fight. Eh, uh, Jake didn't want to. He actually requested not being a part of that fight. So I, I, we didn't because of that. And then, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you uh, all so much. Have yourself a, uh, a great one. <laughs> Bye.